Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of Code Basics where learning code is made extremely easy and intuitive. Today we are going to talk about dictionaries and tuples in Python. And here is the list of topics that we are going to cover in this video tutorial. Okay, let's begin with a dictionary. A dictionary is something that allows you to store key value pairs. They are also known as maps, hash table, associative arrays. And the classical example of a dictionary is a telephone directory. So let's say if you want to build a telephone directory in Python, how would you do it? You will use dictionary for that purpose. You will create a variable called D. You can give any variable name here. And in a telephone directory, as you all know, what you have is a person name and a telephone number of that person. So what I just did is opening curly bracket, name of the person, colon, the telephone number of that person. Then my second friend is Rob and his telephone number is this. And here is the third entry in the dictionary. So you can keep on adding values like this. What this will do is when I print D, it will create dictionary for your phone book. Now, if you want to access any element, then you can access it by using the person name. So let's say I want to know a phone number of Tom, I can retrieve it by doing this. What we are doing here is Tom is called a key in the dictionary. Using the key, we are accessing the value, which is the telephone number. So you use these kind of square bracket or to retrieve the values based on the keys. Now, dictionary sounds similar to list, but in the list, you retrieve values using the index. Whereas here, you retrieve the values using key, which could be anything. It could be a string, it could be number, it could be anything. Okay, now let's cover some basic operations. How do you add a new entry in the dictionary? So I want to add a new telephone number. Let's say Sam just registered a new telephone number for himself. If you want to add that into existing dictionary, you can add it like this. And once you print, D, you will see Sam is here. Now, here one thing you noticed is when you initialize this dictionary, the order was Tom, Rob, Joe, and the order is different here because in dictionaries, order doesn't matter. The sole purpose of dictionary is to access values using keys. Hence, the order has no importance here, and that's why you are seeing some randomness here. Next thing is how do you delete an entry from a dictionary? So you use del command and using del you can just say something like this. Let's say Sam wants to unregister his telephone number and remove the entry from the telephone directory. Once you do that, if you print d, you won't see Sam here. We are back to three values. Next item is how do you print all the directory values? For that, you can use for loop. You can say for key in D. What this will do is it will iterate through each of these keys. One, two, three. For all those three things, what do you want to do? You want to print key and value. So you will say key is key and the value is, how do you get the value from the dictionary? Using the square bracket you say key once you do that you will just iterate through all the values all the keys and retrieve the values using those keys another way to do the same thing would be to use the tuple so you say for caseless v in d dot items so when you say d dot items it is returning you these pairs key value pairs and to get the key value pass, you use something like this. You 
can say print you are doing pretty much the same thing except that the value you are getting in this variable called v okay so these two are this they they basically saw the same purpose okay now how do you check if a specific person's name is in the dictionary or not in this dictionary we have tom rob and joe and i want to know if tom is present in the dictionary for that you use in operator if you recall for list also we use in operator so if you say tom in d then it will return true because tom is present inside the dictionary let me print dictionary one more time if i say samir in d it will say false because there is no entry for this person in our telephone directory okay now all the phone numbers in my town are getting changed and i want to trash all the entries from my telephone directory how do you do that you just say d dot clear and that will wipe out everything and you are left with an empty dictionary so that was all about dictionaries uh, remember one thing dictionaries are pretty useful they are used heavily whoever is doing python programming they use dictionary often so it is very important to learn this concept the next topic is tuples tuples is nothing but a list of values grouped together for example you want to represent a geometric point in two dimensional plane how do you do that you use tuple so you will create a variable called point equal to and let's say your x coordinates value is 5 and your y coordinate is 9 so you will use uh, this kind of brackets and here is how you define a tuple so what you got here is a tuple it sounds similar to a list uh, let me show you how point is. remember like list if you want to access it you can access it using an index so similarly in tuple also if you want to access different values you can access them using an index so you'll say point one and it will print the second value but there are some differences the most basic difference between the list and tuple is that in list all the values have a same meaning whereas in tuple all values have a different meaning when the values have a different meaning they are called heterogeneous values and when they have a same meaning they are called homogeneous values here in this example 5 and 9 represent different concept one is x coordinate and the second one is y coordinate that's why it is appropriate to use tuple if all values were same let's say if all values were x coordinates then you would use list some other examples of list are expense list where all values are basically an expense or a list of people's names where each value is a name of the person a few examples of tuples are point address so in address together they serve one purpose which is it is an address of one person but if you look at each individual values they are different one is the street name the other one is city name the third one is the zip code okay uh, the second difference uh, between list and tuple is that tuples are immutable what i mean by that is if you try to change a value of a tuple so in point zero now remember you will be able to do this with a list but when you do it with a tuple you get this and this error okay so that was all about dictionaries and tuples thanks for watching